What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. We are back going through some more comic books. Today, I'm going to be going through the New Mutants and the Amazing Spider-Man that were included in the 2000 comic book lot that I did purchase to resell, but let's face it, I'm going to end up keeping some of these comics, so I haven't gone through these yet. I don't know exactly what there is. They're likely going to be all mixed and the issues are going to go back and forth. It's not going to be uh, complete sets or anything like that, likely. But I'm really excited to go through these ones as well. I know there's not many of the New Mutants and there's not many of the Amazing Spider-Man, so I decided to combine them into one video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's start off with the New Mutants. New Mutants, I do enjoy those comics. Uh, they're from my era. I like collecting the 80s, early, early 90s. Uh, but there's a cutoff point whenever they started to make, I don't know, the artwork all different and I just stopped enjoying it. So. Most of these ones here, the New Mutants, aren't really ones that I collect, but I might end up picking a few out for my collection as well. We'll see what there is. Up first, there is the New Mutants issue 14. Now, just a reminder, I don't know what uh, a lot of these comics are worth. This is the first time I'm going through them, and I'm going through them on camera. So this one here is really interesting. I do like the fight scene ones. This one here is probably the earliest New Mutants that is included in the lot. So I am going to consider keeping it. But right now I really don't know if I'm going to. Next is issue 47. So a little bit of a jump there. Um, they already do have a new font for the New Mutants. That does look really cool. Next is Fall of the Mutants, issue 59. Now some of these are not bagged and boarded. Uh, some of the comics that are included in the lot are. That looks really cool. I'll try to get it so there's no glare. Again, uh, issue 61, another Fall of the Mutants. That's a nice scene, I like that. I'm not sure what any of these creatures are. I'm going to have to check out this comic, at least read it before I end up selling it. Um, and see what it's about, just because I don't know what those really are. Then we have 65. That's cool. I like how they uh, have a light blue cover. I like how it's different colors. I usually am drawn to the artwork. And I always like purple, which is 66. But I don't know, this cover's not really doing it for me. It's just a weird fight scene. I'm not sure who these are on the cover. Not really familiar with the New Mutants. Um, Magneto battles the Black King, 65. Sorry, 75. That's cool. That's going to be an interesting one. Issue 95. Again, I'm not familiar with it, so... It's a very cool comic. I do like these comics, but... Am I going to keep them for my personal collection? Probably not. Uh, 96, unless there's issue 100 here, which it doesn't look like it's 97. This has Wolverine and Cable on it. Kind of reminds me of an X-Force comic or an X-Men comic that I've already come across. Um, that's really cool though. I like that. So that's all of the new mutant comics that were included in the lots. Uh, now we're going to switch things up and go through the amazing Spider-Man. Some of these are probably going to be high 300s for the issues. Um, but I am going to likely pick out more of these ones for my personal collection than I did for the new mutants So let's just get right into it here. This one looks really really cool issue 386 I like that That just looks amazing. This one's gonna be one that I'm keeping. I love that issue 320 I'll think about it. I honestly don't know. I like the design I like the artwork I'm just not, uh, part one of six. I likely don't have a complete set here of this one, so. I don't know, I'll put it aside for now. Issue 342. This one has, uh, Scorpio, Black Cat, and Spider-Man. I think I said Scorpio. I think it's Scorpion. Uh, ooh, this one's interesting. Moon Knight. Punisher, Nova. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. 357, I like that. This one's gonna be a tough one for me to uh, get rid of if I don't end up keeping it. I like Punisher, I don't find much of his stuff, but I like the cameo uh, comics, so I'll put that in the pile to keep in my personal collection for now. 
This one actually is a little bit better in my opinion. I like this one a lot more. Um, I can't tell who else is in this one. Uh, it's issue 358. It has Punisher on the cover. That's a way better uh, cover than the last one. I might have to keep this and swap this one out, keep this one instead. It's just something that I personally uh, like. 359, Punisher's not on the cover of this one. Very cool. Issue 370, these are all high 300s right now. This one's neat. 372, you got giant spider, giant, uh, giant insects here. That's really cool, I like that. 376, another fight scene here. I'm not sure who the villains are, or who the uh, the other guys are up here, but it's a cool comic. 377. Spider-Man needs some help here. Very cool stuff. I'm glad I bought this lot. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. This has, ooh, this has the Incredible Hulk, and it looks like they're fighting. I always love whenever. Uh, the heroes fight each other, so this one likely I'm going to keep in my collection. I love the Incredible Hulk. I don't find much of his stuff. Uh, in the lot, there is a comic that is worth 150 bucks, though. I have to list that soon. Uh, that'll help with making back some of my money on this investment. It's just a comic that's not interesting to me that I want to keep anyways. 382 has them again in it. I don't know if they're going to be fighting or if they're going to be uh, on the same side in this one. That's very cool, though. I like that. We have 383, another fight scene. We're not sure who Spider-Man's fighting in this one. 384, Spider-Man needs some help. He's a little trapped. I'm not familiar who the uh, robots are that uh, he's fighting. Comment down below if you guys do. I don't know, just not familiar with me. 385. Yeah, 385. I like the artwork at least. It does look like nice comics. Uh, then we have 371. I'm not sure who it is. I'm not sure who this big creature is. It has three faces uh, on it. Not familiar, but it has black hat in it. So that's cool. This one has a little bend to it, if you guys can tell. It's not bagged and boarded, obviously, but it has a nice little bow in it, so. Not gonna keep that in my personal collection, but uh, these are all of the New Mutants and the Spectacular Spider-Man that was, or sorry, Amazing Spider-Man that is included in the lot. I still have the web of Spider-Man to go through. That's normally what I collect. I'll have to pick out the ones that I'm missing from my collection and go through them. And there is a set uh, that is in the web of Spider-Man that I will be sharing in that video in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed. These are all the comics I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. If you guys want to see more comic books moving forward and me going through more comic books that not only were included in this lot, but the ones that I have in my personal collection, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know that you guys are interested in seeing all of the comic books that I have, because I am absolutely loving having the opportunity to share them once again on the channel with you guys. So I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.